we get tons of questions about vaping. And one of the things that people really want to understand is whether vaping is addictive. So let's get into it. An e-cigarette is a handheld device that works by superheating a liquid into a vapor. It has three main components, a battery at the end, which usually activates an indicator light and powers a heating element called an atomizer. And that atomizer gets activated when you breathe in through the device and it draws in the liquid or e-juice from that third part, which is the cartridge. The atomizer then heats the liquid up to a temperature of 100 to 250 degrees Celsius and turns it into an aerosol or vapor, which you then breathe in. So how addictive an e-cigarette is, is mostly dependent on what that e-juice actually contains. E-cigarettes were initially conceived as a replacement for regular tobacco cigarettes, which of course contain nicotine. And although that cigarette smoke contains over 7,000 chemicals, many of which are obviously toxic, the nicotine itself is not toxic, but it is what makes cigarettes addictive. In fact, the US National Institutes of Health has said that nicotine is as addictive as heroin or cocaine. The reason for this is that nicotine gets into the bloodstream quickly and goes to the brain where it triggers the release of a neurotransmitter called dopamine, which is part of the brain's reward system. And that makes you feel good. It also releases noradrenaline, which is a stimulant and gives you a buzz, and beta endorphins, which relieve anxiety and have a calming effect. And the brain likes those things, so it becomes addicted to that nicotine, which is why you can't stop smoking. And whether you get that nicotine through a tobacco cigarette or an e-cigarette, you will become addicted. In fact, depending on the type of e-cigarette and the type of e-juice that you use, studies have shown that some e-cigarettes can deliver an even higher concentration of nicotine into the bloodstream than tobacco cigarettes, particularly if you use extra strength cartridges with a higher concentration of nicotine. For example, you can find as much nicotine in just one e-liquid pod as an entire pack of cigarettes. And just like regular cigarettes, e-cigarettes allow users to regulate their nicotine dose by adjusting the way that they inhale, and that's a very addictive property of the device. For people who are already smokers, adding e-cigarettes can actually perpetuate their nicotine addiction. And that's because you can often vape in situations where you wouldn't be able to smoke. For example, a lot of people don't smoke indoors because of the smell and to avoid exposing other people to their secondhand smoke. But vaping is more socially acceptable, so if you have a nicotine craving, you can just take a few puffs of your e-cigarette, which is a lot easier than getting a match or a lighter and going outside, lighting a cigarette, and then spending 10 minutes to finish it. So people who both smoke and vape may actually develop a higher level of nicotine dependence. And if you think you're safe because you're using a cartridge that doesn't contain nicotine, don't be so sure. There have been studies showing small amounts of nicotine in several different types of cartridges that were labeled as non-nicotine. Canada does have the Tobacco and Vaping Products Act, which is supposed to regulate the manufacture, content, and labeling of e-cigarettes. But people can get their e-juice from all sorts of different places, including online, so that's really hard to enforce. The other thing to keep in mind is that aside from the nicotine, there are other reasons that people become addicted to e-cigarettes. It's not just the chemical aspects of smoking that e-cigarettes emulate. They produce the same visual, sensory, and behavioral aspects that make smoking so addictive, and that's all part of the habit. There's the physical component of holding something, that repetitive hand-to-mouth motion, and the association that you make with that action. For a lot of people, it's a mental break or a coping mechanism, and that becomes very hard to give up. So vaping is definitely addictive, possibly as addictive as smoking, especially if you use nicotine e-cigarettes, but even without the nicotine. But are they as dangerous as cigarettes, and can they help you quit smoking? Stay tuned for those answers in our vaping series, and subscribe to the feed.